If x and y are integers, is x times y even? Statement number one tells us that x is 1 greater than y. x equals y plus 1. Well, let's think about this. If y is an odd number, then that would mean that x is an even number. If y is an even number, that would mean that x is an odd number. And so either way, one of them is odd, one of them is even. That would mean that multiplying them, we'd get an even number. And so this statement is in fact perfectly sufficient. It allows us to deduce that yes, the product would be even. Statement number one sufficient. Now forget statement number one, consider statement number two on its own. x over y is an even integer. So that means first of all that y has to go evenly into x, but it also means that x itself has to be even. Because the only way that you're going to divide something and still wind up with an even number at the end is if there's a factor of 2 in the numerator to begin with. So x must be an even integer. It's impossible to divide an odd number by something and get an even number. And so the fact that x is an even number means that when you multiply it by anything, it will still be even. So this statement is also completely sufficient. Both statements sufficient. Answer choice D.